Greetings humans, I'm making this video today because I am annoyed and I'm annoyed at all of the people out there who give out advice on things that they have absolutely no idea about. There seems to be this prevailing myth going around among people who are particularly knowledgeable about hardware that you can't get water on your hardware, otherwise it'll break it. I mean, it's just getting so ridiculous now. One guy even told me that I can't use 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean off my CPU. I can only use 100%. Why? Because that 1% water in the isopropyl was going to fry my motherboard. Because obviously motherboards get fried when you put water on them. So hopefully this is going to be one of many in a video series I'm going to make destroying all of the ridiculous myths that are going around and are, you know, people who aren't very knowledgeable that want to give advice to people. Um, maybe they have legitimately good intentions, but they still give out stupid advice that's just completely wrong. And here is our test subject. This beautifully new 1155 motherboard. So, it's time to do an experiment. As you can see, we're now at the beach and we're here to test the one myth Does water damage electronics? Can you get your motherboard wet without damaging it? So, we will now do a demonstration or a bit of a test of uh, whether or not this board will be destroyed by water. So, here we go. And this is a fairly new LM55 board. And so uh, we're going to go back and test whether this still works on the test bench. See you there. Okay, so it's our uh, day two of the experiment. And I've got the motherboard here, which has uh, been sitting there overnight since yesterday, drying. Okay, so we've got it on the test bench now. And we will see. Though it still works. I need to put the uh, CPU in first. I think I have a. What is that? Pentium or something down there? Okay, uh, let's put in the CMOS battery. Obviously, if. Uh, if I was actually going to use the machine, I'd put proper paste on, but it's good enough for a test. Okay, let's see. Pass by. And now we can turn it on. So it says CMOS check somewhere. Hmm. Ah, now it seems to be boosting Windows. Oh, that's slow. So we booted, and uh, let's log on. Uh oh, can't do this with one hand. Cholo. Ah. ah, there we go. It's the most secure password ever. Lucas123. Server2012. So yeah, it seems to be working perfectly well. Well, I don't know, we're running a stress test for a couple of minutes, and all seems to be well. Despite the fact that this has been in the uh, sea, uh, and uh, there's also no 
thermal paste on there, or at least some leftovers from last time, seems to be going quite well. See I'm running Prime Nights 5 there, temperature's fine, no errors. Can't find any issues with it. So there you have it. Water does not damage electronics. There's nothing inherently wrong with getting circuits wet with water. The issue is, is that non-pure water, which is pretty much any water you're going to get on your electronics, non-pure, uh, is conductive to some degree. Meaning that when you have a current flowing through your electronics, the water is going to make that current go into places where it doesn't want to go, where it shouldn't be, and it's going to cause some damage. Um, but so long as you've got no current flowing through the circuit, you've got really no problem. So that's why I took the seamless battery out. Um, not that it really would have made a big difference. I mean, the seamless battery is only, what, one and a half volts, and... Uh, you know, even if it did manage to conduct on somewhere it shouldn't, you're only going to be getting like 0 0.0001 amps, so I probably could have got away with leaving it in and causing no issues, but uh, so thanks for checking out this video vlog and uh, subscribe for the next couple videos I'm going to make. Uh, the next video I make will probably be on anti-static bags, because uh, there's a lot of strange myths going around at the moment. And a lot of people have been telling me, don't put your stuff on the outside of the anti-static bag because anti-static bags have static on the outside and they'll fry your components. In the next video I'm going to be doing a whole humongous video on all of those myths, testing them out. Uh, so, see you then. Fingers crossed. Oh shit, I lost it. <laughs> it's behind you.